Jan Gell is an architect and an urban design consultant. He was born on the 17th September 1936 in Copenhagen, Denmark. He studied architecture at the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts, graduating in 1960. Later he became a professor at his old school. In 1965, Gale received a six-month research grant to study people and cities. Later, in 1966, Gale received a five-year research grant from his former school to study the form and use of public space. From this research, the book Life Between Buildings Using Public Space was written. Gale, along with his architecture firm, founded in 2000, Gale Architects has worked on projects that have improved cities such as Copenhagen, Stockholm, New York and many other cities. Life Between Buildings was first released in 1971. In his writings, Jan Gale shows concern for people who are to move about between buildings. The basic message of the book is to take care of the life between your buildings. The book was a protest against the functionalistic principles for planning cities in residential areas. The book is written during a time when cars were becoming more important than pedestrians. Many cities, in the United States especially, had given the automobile more significance than the pedestrians. The main subject of the book is the interaction between the physical environment and activities in outdoor spaces. The more people are outdoors, the more often they meet, and the more greetings are exchanged and conversations develop. Jan Gehl does talk about the built environment and how it influences people's interaction. However, it won't automatically make people talk and develop friendship. More than architecture is needed for that, but design that is conducive to such interaction will, however, encourage it. Jan Gehl talks about three types of activities in the beginning of the book. Necessary activities, like running errands and shopping. Optional activities, those activities that people do if they simply want to. These activities require a certain outdoor condition. Social activities, all activities that depend on the presence of others in public spaces. For example, people going out for a beer after work. Today it is wise to have these activities in mind when designing urban space. It is important to ask how urban planning can be conducive to social activities among residents. In Reykjavik, Iceland, many neighborhoods were built during the later part of the 20th century. Most of them are suburbs that rely on the private automobile as the main transportation for residents. Today, the master plan for Reykjavik has changed, so the city will stop expanding and start densifying. Many of the things Jan Gehl talks about in the book Life Between Buildings are now being used in urban planning in Reykjavik. Like infrastructure for bicycles. The neighborhood of Löganes was built mostly in the 70s. It is a neighborhood that houses around 2,700 residents. The neighborhood is a car neighborhood, sparsely built with wide streets. Jan Gehl's ideas in Life Between Buildings could well be used in Löganes as well as in many Icelandic neighborhoods, where there are a lot of spaces that seem unwanted and accidental. Gehl's idea of sidewalks being higher than the street where they cross is something that could be used in the neighborhood of Löganes and in all of Reykjavik. So pedestrians do not cross the streets, but the cars will cross the sidewalks. Although Reykjavik has changed for the better over a long period of time, there is still a long way to go. Here we can see the street Österstrede in Reykjavik. It was changed into a pedestrian street in 1973, but was changed back in 1991. Finally, in 2011, the street was once again closed for automobile traffic. This meant more people out in the street, which meant more life and social activities. Laugavegur is the main shopping street in Reykjavik, and it is still open for cars. A part of the street is closed during the summer. However, due to the difference in material, people tend to walk on the sidewalks anyway. The city has reacted to this by painting the streets with colors. Streets like the Stroge in Copenhagen are proof that pedestrian streets bring more life to streets between buildings and are essential in making cities lively and fun. 
Gale's ideas and tools will continue to help urban designers and architects around the globe to design cities for people.